This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. I've got a whole lot of uh, eclectic things in my house. Um, several years ago, I had a, um, an eBay business, and uh, I accumulated a lot of antiques. Uh, at least the people who uh, sold them to me said they were antiques. I've come to believe they were exaggerating just a tad, like uh, you know, some Go Transcript applicants exaggerate about their qualifications. Uh, anyway, one of the things I'm looking at right now as I'm typing this is a uh, brass embossed beer stein. It's uh, stamped Peerage England on the bottom. Well, when I bought it, I thought it was so cool. Now I realize it's just a chot key that was probably sold in gift shops all over the world. The last one to sell on eBay went for $9.99. And I bet the seller, an ex-Go transcript editor, was uh, glad to get it. Still, I'm not too upset about it. It's a nice place to put my pens and scissors. Now right next to that is a little tin, ba tin coin bank made up to look like a, an 8 o'clock coffee can. Um, remember 8 o'clock coffee? That, that was good coffee. Uh, well, anyway, when I shook it just now, um, the clinking sound made me realize there was still a coin inside. I pried open the lid and, uh, wow, there's a 10 centavo coin from Guatemala, dated 2008. Ooh such a long time ago. You know, I doubt if you could have bought a cup of coffee with it, even at Go Transcript's 2008 fire sale prices, but um, it's nice to have anyway, uh, just in case. Over to my left is a, is a bookshelf filled with reel-to-reel -reel magnetic tapes. All of them were recorded in the 1960s and 70s, and feature excruciatingly bad organ music played on breathtakingly beautiful theater organs. They're all part of a collection we uh, inherited from a theater organ society. Um, if it were possible to get rid of them, I would, but uh, they belong to a Go Transcript admin, so no such luck. In between the uh, tapes and my desk are uh, two large plastic bins containing yeah, anywhere from 300 to 1,000 pattern books giving detailed um, instructions on uh, knitting, crocheting, and tatting, um, all, tatting all manner of doilies, tablecloths, chairbacks, runners, really scary looking children's toys, and uh, one little booklet published in 1945 called How to Make Potholders That Say Go Transcript Rocks, which I suspect may have come from a time traveler named John Teeter I met once online. Uh, I bought them collectively at, a, at an antique store ten years ago, thinking I'd sell them and make a pretty penny. Well, so far I've yet to recoup my <coughs> initial investment. Still, it's nice to leaf through them once in a while to get some inspiration. Um, I sure hope you've enjoyed this journey through my uh, heirlooms and antiquities. Good luck with the test, and uh, remember, people who cheat on Go Transcript tests probably cheat on their significant others too, and maybe vice versa. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript.